Well, I'm back after a little bit of a break, and um, it's just a quick video, real quick, to show you how you can set up a simple Mac OS virtual machine on Linux right now on Linux Lounge. Indeed, this program here, Mac OS Simple KVM, will allow you to set up a simple Mac OS virtual machine on Linux. It's pretty much completely automated there's not much you need to do at all um, and to get this set up it's very simple the first thing of course you want to do is go ahead and download the sort of um, well you want to go ahead and click clone or download and click download zip from this page I will put the link in the description and then once you have it all you need to do is go ahead into the folder you've downloaded and extracted it to and then once you're there you just need to run a few commands and the first thing you want to do is get a terminal open in the folder that uh, you've extracted everything to um, on Ubuntu and pretty much any other GNOME desktop you can simply right click open terminal and the first thing that you want to run is jumpstart Mojave now if you want to install High Sierra or Catalina you can but at this current time I would recommend that you use Mojave because with Catalina I had a fair few issues with the installation. We'll go ahead and copy and paste that, hit enter and what it will do is it will go ahead and download macOS straight from Apple servers um, and all of this is mostly automated and we will be back once it's done that and there we go once that's done it should be fairly quick and that's your sort of download of the Mac OS installer the next thing you want to do is copy paste this command and depending on what size you want your uh, Mac OS drive to be you can change this to whatever you want but for the purposes of this video I'm gonna leave it at 64 gigabytes and then it will go ahead and make a virtual drive for you to install Mac OS on and then the last thing that you want to do is simply copy and paste uh, this and then go ahead and uh, right click the basic.sh right click open with text editor and then just go ahead and copy and paste that there save it close out of that and then go ahead and drag and drop the basic.sh into your terminal or run it however you want hit enter and you will get this uh, queen new window then go ahead and press enter on the install from Mac OS base system and what it should do is boot up and in my experiences I've never had any issue with this loading up unlike uh, installing a Hackintosh on real hardware this seems to work perfectly And as you can see, it's loading up. And there we go, we're in the Mac OS installer. The next thing you want to do is go down to the disk utility, which, fair warning, um, the virtual machine will capture your mouse. And then once you're in here, you want to go ahead and show all the devices and what you want to do is check one of the, which one of these is your 64 gigabyte drive although fair warning it might show up as a slightly different size under Mac OS and once you've got that go ahead and click erase select your format as APFS your scheme GUID hit erase and don't worry this won't wipe any actual hard drive you have connected it's the virtual drive press done close out of the disk utility then click reinstall Mac OS continue hit agree agree again 
click the drive that you just formatted, install, and this might take a while depending on your internet connection speed as it has to download macOS straight from Apple's servers. Um, but eventually it should continue the installation as normal. Then once the uh, installation's kind of moved on to the next step, uh, the virtual machine should automatically reboot. Then what you want to do next is select boot macOS install from uh, whatever you've named the drive back when you wiped it. So go ahead and boot from that and the installation process should continue. And there you go, after a while the installation will finish. And from here you can boot into your new install of macOS. Then once your new install of macOS is booted up, just go through the installation as you would on a normal Mac. then be greeted by the macOS desktop. Now from here you can kind of uh, look around, get a feel for sort of what macOS is all about. Um, and of course pretty much everything that you would expect to work works. Um, out of the box you kind of only really get 2 gigs of RAM and no sort of video acceleration with the virtual machine so performance won't be amazing however it will pretty much work however if you want to go further than that this uh, sort of program does provide an easy way to do that so of course let's just shut the virtual machine down and if you go into docs you can see easy ways to sort of set up uh, networking a GPU pass through if you want to do that. There's a guide to increase performance. You can increase your screen resolution. And all in all, all these guides are sort of very, well, fairly easy to follow. Um, the main thing I would recommend is increasing the RAM, which to do that is pretty simple. You just need to go ahead and open up the basic.sh and change this value up here to whatever you want your uh, RAM amount to be. So in this case we're going to go with 4 gigabytes. and if you start the virtual machine up again you will notice that the performance will be vastly better. Uh, you can also set up a GPU pass through you, which at which point the virtual machine will pretty much perform as a real Mac would. Um, depending on your hardware that is, but unfortunately I don't have a second graphics card to demonstrate that with, but that is a good option, and I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this particular program. If you want a macOS virtual machine, I would highly recommend uh, this particular program to get everything set up. It literally just works, but I think that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in the next video.